Hey Raptors, today we are testing the 1660 Super from EVGA. This is the XE Ultra Edition. I did the unboxing video on it. And we are just taking some out of the box settings here and looking at the hash rates. I've got Ethereum mining right now. And you can see it's mining 26.5. And again, that's on Ethereum. I'm using um, Claymore version 15.0. And our driver is 441.12. Afterburner version is 4.6.2. I'm using GPU Z. And it is showing that we are at 115 watts on the card itself. And at the wall, we're showing 207 watts. And the system runs idle at 94 watts. And I use this, this is not an optimized mining rig. I use this for recording. Uh, and doing um, quite a few other things. There is a Ryzen 5 2600 on here. We use it for gaming. So this really hasn't been streamlined for low power mode in idle uh, state. So that's why that's at that 94 watts. Uh, the card, so we were showing 115 watts. Is that about right? Yep. And the overall wattage here, we are looking at using our Tekken Wi-Fi switches, looking at the wall. So let's just do a quick check and see if we're close here, what's being reported. So let's clear this. 207 minus, one, what did we say, 115? 92, okay, so that's real close to our idle. So we know that this is pretty darn accurate. So let's get on with doing some optimized testing here for Ethereum and see just how good we can get this card mining. All right, so our first test, let's uh, obviously, let's drop this power limit down. I like dropping to about 70%, and we're gonna stay zero on the core clock, zero on memory. And notice that the heat was up to about 62 degrees Celsius when we were at 100%. And I left the fan speed at auto, these 16 series cards. Um, I find that I can leave these at auto, whereas some of my 10 series cards uh, I can't trust quite as much I have to force the fan to between 50 and maybe 80 percent but for today's test as we move through all this let's force this just to keep it static let's force this to 50 percent okay so we're at 70 percent power limit zero zero and then force the fan to 50 our temperature is already dropping and let's see what our hash rate just did so far, the hash rate's staying pretty solid at 26.4. So let's just start, while we're waiting for that to bake for a second here, let's grab some of these details. So we're at 70%, the power limit, core clock zero, memory at zero. And from here on out, we're just gonna grab the card and the hash rate. Right at the moment, 26.35. And the card is showing, GPU-Z is reporting 86, we'll call it 87 watts. So yeah, not bad there. Okay, we just got a reading of 25. Let's see if it ticks back up. 26, 25, 26. Okay, 26.569, we'll just leave that at 26.35. And for our next test, we'll leave this at 70% power limit. And I wanna jump this memory up a little bit here. So we're increasing that to 500. So 70, zero, plus 500. And look at that, we got a nice little jump here. 28.5, we'll let that bake for a second. All right, this one's settling in. 27.8 and 28.6. Got 28s back here, 28. All right, we're gonna grab 28.477. So the card only is at, okay, we're still at 87. All right, let's step this up to 750. So 
Still at about 87 watts. Nice jump here. Look at this, 29.5. All right. Now I have to be careful here. I was playing around with this a little while ago, and I actually got this card to crap out on me. So let's approach that 1,000 mark slowly. Let's go to 850. When I hit 900, I was able to still mine on it, but the card actually crashed when I exit the miner, so it just became generally unstable at 900. And then at 1,000 outright, it just crashed altogether. But we'll try this again and see if we get a different result. So we're at 70 plus zero plus 850. Temperature's still looking good over here. And look at that, very nice bump, 30.31. 86, we'll call it 87 watts still. And our hash rate, 30.375. By the way, I'll take all of this stuff and put it in the usual spreadsheet I use for tracking and comparing all of these cards, but this will just be to collect the data here as we're, uh, we're testing the card versus Ethereum. And I'll drop it in and leave a link in the show notes. All right, so let's step this up again. This is where I start getting nervous, Raptors. Let's go to 900. By the way, um, I am using a capture card on this, so I'm not remoting into the machine. So the results that you see here should be a bit more accurate. And if I crash the machine, we'll still be recording. Okay, so no major jump there. Let's try taking this to 950. And let's see if we crash it. Little step up, 30.8. So we're at 9.50. And we're still at that 87 watts. And our hash rate, we're bouncing a little bit here. 30.7, we'll call it 30.5. And we'll step this up again and see if it crashes. So we're gonna try getting to 1,000. All right, hold on to your butts. And apply, oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go, guys. All right, so 1,000, it's toast. All right, let me try to recover this machine real quick. Okay, Raptors, so I just recovered the machine and we saw where we can push the limits here. Now what I want to do is I want to try bringing this power limit down from 100% to 56%. Still have the fan locked uh, at 50%, core clock at zero, memory at zero. And let's see what this gets us. Okay, so our power consumption dropped to about 73 watts. The miner is reporting 71 watts. Here we go. So we're at about 26.47, 26.5, somewhere in that range here at 56%. Now, let's step up this memory. It's our strong suit here. Let's apply that. We jumped from 72, 73 to 75 watts right away in GPU-Z. And I'm leaving the uh, tech and Wi-Fi switch off just because that's pulling a couple percentage points from the processor when I'm running it. And that's uh, just monitoring what we saw at the wall. And we know this is already pretty accurate. We verified that. So, all right, look at this. So we jumped to 28.5 mega hash per second. Nice little bump there. Now I gotta be careful. Let's bring this up to plus 900. And I think I won't go any higher than that. Probably if I'm mining Ethereum, probably for stability, either leave it at 900 or maybe 875. But let's leave this at 900 and see how we do. Let's apply that. 
we were at 28.6, 29.8. We should be able to hit into the 30s here. There we go, 30.6. I was seeing this pretty steady earlier at about 30 and a half. So 30.6. And if we look at that from an efficiency standpoint for a mega hash per second per watt, that brings us in at about 0 0.389, which is really, really respectable. If we review all these real quick, certainly that lowest power limit down there at 56%, it's 78 watts versus 70% at 87 watts. So we saved maybe eight to 10 watts there, uh, dropping that power limit down. And we're staying pretty consistently above 30, which is which is really great. So yeah, I think this is uh, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. I may tweak this a little bit more moving forward, but I think this is the sweet spot for this particular piece of uh, silicone that I got here, the memory type that I got. Uh, we're going to run with for Ethereum, anyways. 56% on the power limit, plus zero, plus 900. And uh, that's getting us above 30. And at this price point, that's that's for a new card, that's fantastic. I mean, you could really think about building rigs out of this. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, in our next video, we're going to test some other algorithms. Um, Ethereum is really used as the baseline these days. So I wanted to get this out to you real quick uh, so you could see what this looks like on Ethereum. And uh, we will do really thorough testing. I've got some ideas as well, aside from just testing other algorithms, I'm thinking of building a rig which has the 1060, the 1660 vanilla version, the Super, the 1660 Ti, and maybe a 1070, and just pit them all head to head against each other, mining at the same time, and see, uh, see that way it's just, you can see them sitting side by side, how they're doing on the same system. And that might be fun to take a look at. But that'll wrap this up for today, guys. This was a bunch of fun. I'm so excited to be testing this card. I don't know why. But uh, I'm hoping that it does well on these other algorithms as well. I mean, theoretically, we should see about the same performance that we saw on the non-super card um, for these non-memory specific algorithms. But we will get those tested out. Uh, stay tuned for an upcoming video. And we'll see you in the next one, Raptors. Take care. Bye-bye.